what are they doing? Uh, well, there's this short video I put together by Dr. David Jacobs. Have any of you heard of Dr. David Jacobs? He's interviewed a lot of people who have claimed to have alien abduction experience, experiences, uh, and this is what he has to say based on uh, his years of research. never been a phenomenon like this. This is completely unprecedented. Everything that happens on board is for a reason. Everything is logical, everything is rational, and everything is understandable with enough information. This was not a learning experience, and it wasn't an experiment. They were trying to figure out what makes us tick. The evidence suggested that this was a program. There is a reason for this program to be put in place. That's what the evidence clearly points to. What was happening was that people were talking about this reproductive material. People were having sperm taken. They were having eggs taken. People report that they were having embryos injected into them and uh, sometimes retrieved from them. is that maybe these people are creating hybrids, creating a, a special race of people with DNA from us, human DNA, and with the alien DNA, creating people that are, I guess, more intelligent, more sophisticated. And I have heard other people tell me stories alluding to that effect. I began to hear accounts of abductees were taken into a room and their attention would be directed to a screen-like device. And on the screen, there would be a scene of normal human activity. A picnic, kids playing ball, guys standing around a grill, people talking to each other. And they'll hear in their mind, can you tell the difference between you and us? And the person will look at the screen and say, huh? Uh, no, everybody looks the same to me. You know? And I'll say, see, isn't that wonderful? Isn't that great? Soon we will all be together. Soon it will be wonderful. Soon everybody will be happy. Now, you hear that once, it's not a pattern. You hear that once, you just discard it. Interesting, who knows? But when you begin to hear it over and over again, then suddenly it has different meaning. This is from other people who are not aware of this testimony. And then I began to understand that what they were telling these abductees, what these beings were telling these abductees, is that ultimately this is an integration program into the society, not with gray aliens most likely, but with these hybrids who look quite human. For years and years and years, people would write to me and say, oh, well, are adult hybrids walking among us? And the answer is, absolutely not. There's no evidence whatsoever that that's the case. But the evidence that I've been getting recently in terms of the goals of the program is that that might be the case. I don't really know yet. It is possible. And I, I am embarrassed even to say that. I'm embarrassed. And yet... It fits the pattern of all the evidence that I've been hearing for the past 20 years. It's focused on hybrids. The reproduction is to reproduce hybrids. And it does appear to be an integration program as crazy as that may sound. Puts the whole scripture as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be the coming of the Son of Man into a little bit more focus, doesn't it? I don't believe we're going to see... 50 footers, 100 footers walking around. I think that they're working r really hard right now to create people that look just like you and me uh, that will be Nephilim. What's interesting about that is if you look in the scripture uh, in Revelation with regard to those who follow the beast. Um, and if you, if you look at the scripture, it says, you know, if we don't receive Christ as our Savior, our name is blotted out of the book of life. Everybody familiar with that? Well, you can't blot something out unless it was there to begin with. 
had to be there to be blotted out. I think that that supports the idea where God says he is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. The proof is he put your name in the book from the foundation of the world. You just got to confirm your reservation. You know, oh, sorry, you don't want to, you, you didn't want to accept my gift. I got to blot you out. I'm sorry, I never knew you. But it talks about those who follow the beast. It says those whose names were not found written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. Well, who are those people? If our names are all written in the book of life to begin with, and all we got to do is confirm our reservation or get blotted out, who are these people whose name was never written in the first place? I believe we're talking about these people here that were never meant to exist in the first place. And I think those are the ones that are going to be following the beast. Those are the ones that we're going to be up against, you know, in the future.